Okay, Carl of Hinterland Caravans again. We're going to do a little segment today called Caravan Titbits. Now, there's none of these are specifically related. It's more about things that are of interest in your caravan or bits and bobs that you've forgotten about or questions we get asked. Let's start. The spare wheel and the bumper bar. The spare wheel on this van is bolted with a bracket to the bumper bar. The benefit of having a bolted spare wheel, you can adjust it and put the wheel over there or put the wheel over here. If you're going to have a bike rack, if you're going to have a toolbox on the back, if you're going to have a little generator, if you want to have a second spare wheel, having the capacity to undo the bracket for the spare, put it one side and then put one the other allows you flexibility. Very good option when you buy a caravan. Look for a spare wheel that is bolted to the rear bumper bar, not welded. If we look under here, if you can get down low enough, you'll see these arms and if we turn across a bit, You'll see that arm goes back through some bolts there. This arm happens to have four brackets, this bumper bar. Now that's not the norm. This is a reinforced bumper. A normal bumper bar will have two brackets, one either side. This one's got four, two extra ones in the middle. But what I'm touching on is this area here. These bolts, if you undo these front and rear bolts on all these arms, this bumper bar can slide out. You can actually move it away from the body. That'll give you the flexibility if you have to put something on the back that's wider than what this current space is, you'll be able to actually adjust the bumper bar, pull it out. Alternatively, say you had a reduced parking space at home, you could undo those bolts and move the bumper bar forward and that'll shorten the length of your van and the overall length. You can move your bumper bar up against the body. And as I've just mentioned, you've got that spare wheel which is bolted on. You can actually unbolt the spare wheel. That'll save you old school a foot and about 30 centimetres at the back because you can lay the spare under the van. And some people I've heard of who have sheds and things have even actually taken the bumper bar off because it's adjustable. Rather than slide it out to give you a bit more width, they actually slide it right off and shorten their van by the best part of a foot at the rear plus the spare and then they put it under the van. So always get a spare wheel that bolts on and an adjustable bumper bar bracket. Makes life easy. Okay, some further details on our caravan tip bit segment today. Uh, your screen door or security door. Now, this one happens to have a fine mesh. Some of them have got the ampler mesh, which is the crisscross pattern. I could have become a millionaire by taking a bet that most people won't remember or work out how to separate the door. They know there's a security door there, but they can't work out how to get apart. Are you ready? Don't tell anybody I have to shoot you. Watch this, look, tip the handle up. Separation. If only a good divorce was that easy. Put it back together. Okay, it's locked in. Tip the handle up, separate. And now you've got your dedicated screen door. You, you can clip back your, uh, your real door, your glass panel door. And now you've got your screen door there. So I said, this one's got a mesh. Some have got the ampler mesh crisscross aluminium, like the old house style. This one's got rolled edges, if we have a look up the top here. That's what everybody wants these days. Having a rolled edge means that when your awning's out or something was down low, it can't catch a sharp edge. Having that nice round corner protects the van from damaging the awning. The other thing is, these are the latest doors. We always use the best we can buy. These have got three lock points. One, two, three. So when it shuts, if you're on the inside and you lock, you've got three points where the door's secured. You won't get into that van through that door. It'd be easier to get through a window, but you'll never get through that door. So there's your security screen. And remember, if you want to earn some money at the caravan park on the barbecues, get a non-camper, a non-caravaner, and see if they can work out how to get that screen apart. Because if you don't show them that tip the handle up, I'll guarantee you, a week from today, they'll still be looking. I thought it was worthwhile while I had a chance and there was no one around, just to touch on these new windows. A lot of people uh, would not be familiar with this sort of window unless they've got a fairly current van. These are the new window that operates totally differently. You don't wind it, it clips out to release it. You see these latches here? You'll hear them click to come undone. There's four on this one, one each end and two in the middle. As such, you push the window out, you'll hear a click, and it locks in. And then you pull your screen down, which is, which is hidden in the top here, right? There's your screen, and there's your blind. Now the upside of these, that's very convenient, and of course, there's no curtains and things to get dusty or get in the way of preparing food in this kitchen area. But my big plus for these for people is that these windows are double glazed. If you come over here and have a look where my fingers are, you'll note that you can't squeeze your fingers together. That's because it's a bubble acrylic window. It's got two skins, an outer skin and an inner skin. 
and those are sealed together like a bubble. Like what they have in the UK actually, or, or most of Europe, the windows are double glazed and the benefit of that is, that air pocket in there acts as an insulation. It traps the hot air trying to come into the van if you're outside in the hot conditions. If you've got your air conditioning going, the cold air doesn't dissipate straight out because it gets caught in that cavity. And it also acts as a noise reduction. So you get a window that's much better insulated, noise reduction. If you were unlucky and had a stone hit it, it wouldn't crack the window straight up because it's got two skins. You could get a, a splitter, a crack or a star on the outside skin, but you'd still be totally waterproof because you've got an inner skin, right? A second skin on the inside. One of the things I really like that's become pretty well standard in all the good vans are these aluminium steps, these entry steps. You don't want to have to step up into a van or more importantly step out of it because that's when you can roll an anchor or trip. Most of the vans and all the vans that we sell here at Hinterland have got these easy action aluminium steps. They're nice and light, they pop away all together, out of harm's way, still gives you good ground clearance. When you pull up, very easily, look, just pull it out, drop it down. Steady is steady. I'm 106 kilos of pie-eating athlete, and you can see I can jump up and down that step with no issues at all. If this fan was a bit higher, you can get a double version of this, but it's not something I highly recommend. I'd be more likely to grab one of these. You can buy these from Caravan Accessory Stores. That's a fold-out step, and it's got little fold-out legs. And because they're so wide, and because it's aluminium, you can get it nice and wide, it's nice and light, you can step on it. So if this step was higher, and I was going into a higher van, I'd probably opt for one of these fold away steps. And the good thing about these, once again, as I just touched on, nice and light, look at that. Not hard to put away, aluminium, no corrosion, no rust. Steps, steps, steps. Don't risk an injury by buying a van, whether it's new or old, and having nothing here. You see people here with a bit of box or a plastic tub. If it's slippery, if it's raining, dewy in the morning, can you imagine carrying a tray of food and trying to step down to there? Bad idea. Make sure whatever you do, you have a good quality step, whether it's mounted in the van or it's a portable one like this. Stick it in front of your door. Make sure it's secure. Brace it out. Get it set up in the right the spot you want. And then access and, and entry. Perfect. Safety first when you caravan. Thanks for your time today. We'll catch you next time when we do Hinterland Caravans. The questions you know, the questions you don't know. Tit bits and making caravanning fun. Have a good day.